Hey Bessie, um, I thought I'm gonna vlog today, actually this week. I have something cool actually to do this week. I thought I'm gonna do a little room makeover in this vlog today and I'm gonna take you with me. I guess. Wait, let me show you the room as it is right now. So this is my room. This wall is very empty. Bed and my desk. I'm trying to learn Interstellar on the piano, but it's a little difficult. I saw some minimalistic art and I really wanted to try it for myself so here I am but I really wanted to paint a huge canvas once in my life so here I am doing this actually I trust the process so um let's see how 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 this turns out but um so yeah let's do this so I bought these I don't know what it is, it's like an acrylic medium. It's called Structure Paste Universal, so. And what else I do have is spatula, actually. And this thingy. So I thought like, doing this on the canvas. I've never done this in my life before, but let's see how this is going to turn out. shift everything outside because um, I have like the feeling this is not going to work out on a stand I have to lay it flat in order to do this properly so I have 
like the feeling that I don't take much time to eat and I see it more as a task rather than a enjoyment which is actually not the right way to think because for me I'm like more like a person that doesn't eat that much and struggles actually to eat much because I always have like that pressure in my head okay I need to eat a lot because I don't want to get skinny and stuff like that I know it's like a little bit fucked up but yeah sometimes I have that feeling that I kind of pressure myself to eat a lot so I don't get skinny and then it is kind of counterproductive because it leads more to a way that I that I don't eat that much if you know what I mean. I haven't had like such a good meal for a long time, like where I really enjoy the moment and not just seeing the, the meal as a task. So that's great, I guess. Oh yeah, and by the way, I'm measuring my blood sugar because my sensor ran out. Why am I telling you this? It's so boring. <laughs> yeah, bestie, I hope you eat good. I hope, I really hope you do eat good because don't see it as a task, see it as something to enjoy. That's that, I guess. By the way, Bestie, I wanted to show you the final result of what I've painted the other day. This is what I've painted. Do you see that? Can you see that? Oh yeah, yes you, you can. So this is what I painted. I really like like this minimalistic art. It looks so ridiculous because it looks like an empty canvas actually. But it is not, it is painted with white and has this kind of structure pattern on it and I really, really like it. Unfortunately, I've ordered a big frame for it, but it didn't come yet. When the frame comes and I hang it up over my couch, it will look so good. Because I had like the feeling if I paint something which is very, very abstract or very colorful or something like that, there will be a time where I hate this painting. And I'm not sure if I'm getting to that kind of time where I can hate an empty painting because it's so subtle and minimalistic that you cannot really hate it. The other day, I found this hoodie. I made it one year ago. And this made me like kind of nostalgic because I went through all this one year ago and I don't know how I was even capable having this kind of endurance to crochet something like that. It is single crochet, which is taking me like ages to do. From now I'm on only doing double crochet or half double crochet because these are like the fastest way to crochet. But this is a single crochet. I was so, I really need to wear this more often proudly because this was a lot of work. I sometimes forget that. And you shouldn't do that actually. You shouldn't forget your achievements. You should look back to it and honor it. So the other day I found my map full of projects and artworks that I've painted in quarantine, like last year ago. Let me show you. I really like the idea of painting on cardboard. So this is more like a doodle. It's like a, supposed to be like a face with a man, something like that. You can see that in the background as well. That was me. And I really like those faces. What I absolutely love is what I found in the map is this. You have to understand how this has been done. This is done by one line. So I never lifted my brush. It's just one stroke. And that's like the difficulty about it. So I thought I'm very down to paint because it's very meditating to me. And I don't care if it looks very good or something like that. It's just being creative and trying my best so yeah let's paint <laughs> the feeling that's the most important thing about 
doing art. And what adds so much value to an artwork is the artist's signature. Bestie, um, I hope you like this little room makeover art inspiration vlog video. I don't know how to call it. I wanted to show you my room real quickly because we have the minimalistic painting here and on top of like above the couch. Then we have this sign, some more paintings and the face, some more paintings and on the other wall we have a few more paintings. I hope you really like this little art vlog video and could find some inspiration maybe for your room. I don't know. I hope you like this vlog style that I'm trying out right now. If you do, feel free to give it some thumbs up and of course subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my social media which is linked on the screen and I can't wait to be back in the next video. I see you soon. Bye bye. I'm out. Ciao.